Hi, uh, welcome to this channel. So today we're going to be talking about button brackets. So right here is a button bracket that I got from my 90s Specialized Hard Rock. It's um, a sealed cap cartridge button bracket. Very simple, very durable. And well, this one is not good anymore. I clean it. Um, after I took it out. So the first thing you'll see with bottom brackets is this number, 113. So that's 113 millimeters from here to here. And that's the length that you need to find out if you're replacing it. Now there's a number that says 7 to 3. Well, if you measure this to this with a caliper, you will only get 68 millimeters but you get the other part of it and now if you measure from here to here you'll get 73 millimeters and this is a shimano and you can see it says uh, bbun54 now that's what you need bb bottom bracket un is whatever shimano had and 54 is just different kinds of what they have so number goes all the way up to 91 if i remember correctly and the next one up is a bbun55 and with that one you'll have an aluminum whatever you call this thing um, this one is plastic and if you can see it's used a lot this one lasted me 10,000 miles and it's just time to replace. Well, the reason I took this out in the first place is because I'm having some weird movement. If you look closely at this one, this is not normal. You're not supposed to get that. It's not something that you would want. It spins good, but it's jiggling. So when I'm riding, I can uh, feel that I can hear that it's annoying and just needs a replacement. Now, this are very durable, very cheap, and should last you a long time. So I got a new one, and this one is BBUN26. Same length, uh, 113 by 73. Now this is, this is not a 54, this is a 26. Let's open that up. I can see the comparison. Plastic, plastic. Other than that, nothing too special. So put this up there. Now let's get the actual bottom bracket. And this one has some grease in it already. Now let's look at that. Uh, BBUN26, so it's lower. Uh, 73, which is again this. Then you put this, that is seven, oops. There you go. That is 73 and 113, so there we go. Now with bottom brackets like this, you can hear uh, English. Some people call it English because of the orientation, I believe. Um, this is called a square taper. Right there, square. And um, this is called a JIS, Japanese Industrial Standard. Oh, this one's made in Indonesia. The old one is made in Singapore. That's cool. So, here they are, old and new. Um, yeah, once you put this on your, now, if we're going to put it back to your bike, this side, the one with the thread, the, this one is actually reverse threaded. So you tighten it, um, counterclockwise. You loosen it clockwise. And you put that in. 
Now on the other side, you put this in here. And there's your bottom bracket. Make sure you put uh, grease here when you install it. And there's a special tool that you can use for this. What is it? Right here. Um, you can buy this in part for, uh, from Park Tool for like 16 bucks for this. I bought it cheaper on Amazon. Um, I can't even read the brand. Let's see what it says. O U Omers O U M E R S. This, this one has a half inch drive, so make sure you have an adapter if you don't have a half inch drive thing. But just basically put it in here, and you know, tighten this way, loosen that way, tight, loose. Mm. So I'll probably be installing this in my uh, 90s hard rock. And I'm just happy that there's no more jiggling. None of that thing. And this. Okay, that's about it. And you guys have fun with your bottom brackets. This one, bye.